Today we are going to learn the pattern practice for the song Me by Taylor Swift and Brendan Urie from Panic at the Disco. It's a really fun song. It has a good pattern to it and I think that it will help you um, reinforce the G chord which is what we're really trying to do. This is our second song now that we've had to use G in the pattern and so we're going to work on that today. So just as a quick recap of what we know, let's do a review here. If you put your instrument in playing position and you bring your left hand up on the neck and we're going to play our C chord first, which is just one finger, pink dot, third fret, and if you strum that, that's what it should sound like, C chord. Next chord we know is the A minor, which is the orange dot, come all the way up here, middle finger on the orange dot all by itself. That's what it should sound like. Don't move the middle finger, keep it right where it is, but take your pointer finger that's free, look down here, add it to the green dot up here to form your F shape and play that. And then the last one that's in this song, of course, is the G. So if you're on the neck of your instrument, you're looking at the purple dots, okay? Now, what I always taught myself how to do this one, I would put first finger down, second finger down, third finger down. So I go one, two, three. Your middle finger is actually back here on the very tip. So it's one, two, three. And when you play it, it almost looks like a W shape. But there's three fingers. And when you put your fingers down, you want to compare how yours sounds compared to how mine sounds. If, if the strings aren't ringing out on G, what you want to make sure you're doing is you want to have those fingers curved up. When you put your fingers down, they should be curved, not flat like this on the neck. Because what happens is when your finger is flat, it accidentally can cover up other strings. And if your skin is touching another string, it can't vibrate. Therefore, it won't ring out and it won't resonate. And so if you curl them up and you set them down on the tips of your fingers, that is where you can make sure that you get the best sound out of your instrument. So if you're not hearing something, look at your fingers. Are they flat? Or are they curved? You want to kind of come up on your tiptoes and curve. So what we're going to do, I'm going to pull up the pattern. Just like um, I Can't Feel My Face, which was the other song that we did, um, just like that song, we have the exact same pattern for the verse and for the chorus of this song. So there is no change. You'll do the same pattern. You're going to loop that pattern all the way through the, uh, the song which is nice. Also another nice thing about this song is it starts on a C, which always makes me happy even after all these years. Start me out on a C, I'm happy. Okay, so let's take a look at the patterns. So you're going to start on a C, you're going to put your third finger down, and you're going to do four strums on C. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to jump to A minor, orange dot, one, two, three, four. Now stay put, don't move your hand. Add your first finger down for the F. One, two, three, four. Now we have to transition to G. So you are in F position. You have your fingers on the green dots, right? So this is where you want to practice the transition. So you take your fingers off. I go one, two, three. There's my G. And you play that four times. One, two, three. Okay, so that's it. That's the whole pattern for the song. But the toughest part is going to be going from the F to the G. And if you know what your toughest part is, then that's the part you want to practice the most. So what I do when I have a, a part of a song where I'm going from two chords that I'm struggling with is I simply just practice left hand only. So I'm not even strumming. I'm literally not strumming, but I am just putting my fingers where they need to go. So in this case, all right, I'm going to get into F position. All right, so if I'm coming from F, I got to get to G. Okay, there's G. All right, now I'm going to go back to F, put the middle finger down, green dot, green dot. Okay, if I'm here, I got to get to G. One, two, three. Now I got to G. And you just kind of keep doing that. And then once you get the fingers, okay, I'm going to strum. Okay, that's an F. One, two, three. G. Back to F. One, two, three. G. And you just practice going back and forth between F and G because that's really the most challenging part of the song. Once you're in G, the next thing is you're going to loop and our first chord is C. So it's right there. Your third finger is already right there. It's going to be a super easy transition. So what you want to do is just practice this pattern in order. Okay, you want to start on C and you want to do four Cs. One, two, three, four A minor. 
add your first finger. One, two, three, four. Go to that tough transition. G, two, three, four. And then you're going to loop it. So I'm going to do it two times in a row, just like it would be done in the song. Okay, and I'm not going to pause in between. I'm just going to loop it and see if you can play along with me. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, and C, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, and then I would start back on. C again. All right, so kids ask me the question all the time, how do you do that? How do you do that so fast? You make it look so easy. I will tell you, literally hundreds of hours of practice over several years um, has gotten me to this point. And you will get to a point where you'll be able to make that transition quicker. But the best thing I can tell you is locate the hardest part, which in this case is F to G, and just over and over with your left hand, keep going back and forth between those two positions and you will learn that muscle memory. Your brain will connect with your hand and get you into the right shape. Okay, so just do that. Just go from F to G and all that repetitive practice is going to make it so that you can be successful when you play just like anything else. The more you do it, the more often you practice something, the better you're going to get. So don't lose hope. Don't lose your patience. This is a, a slow process. You've moved really quickly to this point, and now it kind of gets a little bit challenging, but it actually is going to get a whole lot easier um, here in the next week or so. So just practice that. We're going to do this as a group. I'm really excited about that. This is a fun song. It's one of those guilty pleasure songs that even if you don't want to like it, you kind of like it, and you kind of sing it. Even if you don't want to sing it, those are the best kind of songs sometimes. So keep on working, and I will be coming around to check on you. Keep up the good work. I am truly proud of all your efforts.